Ever since I started making content about eight months ago on TikTok, I've noticed a few comments calling out Schlatt, saying that I look like him, and I did not see it for the longest time. I mean, he can grow pretty much a full beard, but he has the little sideburns going on that I do not like, but hey, Schlatt, do your thing, bud. And I also looked him up, his height, he's a fucking giant, I am built like a peasant, we are not the same, but you know what? I kind of just left it at that, but then fast forward to now, this week specifically, I'm just doing my weekly YouTube binges, and I come across a page, The Weekly Schlap. I don't know how I've never come across this, especially since he does it over Call of Duty gameplay, and how I used to be such a Call of Duty fanatic back in the day, but needless to say, I came across his page, and a lot of his videos resonate with me. He just does a basic commentary over Call of Duty, and just makes it fun and resonates with me. And I'm sure he does that for a lot of you guys. I mean, that's why he's so popular. And it kind of got me thinking, man, I have been in a creative rut for the longest time. Why not do something simple? I grew up on this kind of gameplay or this kind of uh, YouTube video genre where it's just gameplay and some dude talking. So I'm that some dude. So to the main point that I wanted to talk about is something that I feel like you can probably resonate with as well. Um, but mostly just me venting and it's, I have no clue what I want to do in life. Like zero. One day I wake up, I'm like, you know what? Got to chase the bread. Got to get a job that pays a shitload of money. I'm going to go to school and get a computer science degree. Whatever. That's a vague statement, but whatever it is, get something that pays really well. And the next day I'm like, you know what? I should go live in the mountains and fucking wipe my ass with uh, just leaves. And it's just a constant back and forth every single day. And now I'm 25 and I have no fucking clue what to do with my life. And I, I envy a lot of younger dudes that, that – not just dudes obviously, but just a lot of younger people that have figured something out, whether they liked it or not, and pursued it and kept on that journey. And honestly, it gives me a little bit of uh, – I envy it. I envy it. A lot of the times I just – I look at somebody that's 22, 23, and whether they like their degree or not, if it's something that pays really well – it gives them plenty of opportunities, and of those, I mean, you have a consistent schedule usually, you have great pay, and with that, you buy yourself freedom. You buy yourself the freedom to create in your side time. Whether that is your job or not, it gives you the luxury to do that, and um, as somebody that is privileged and didn't take advantage of those kind of benefits, it really um, strikes a nerve in me, and I guess I don't have a lot to offer for you guys in this video because it's just me venting, but... If I have one thing to say to my younger audience, it's just if you are interested in a degree that does pay very well. Sorry, my dogs are barking. We live in an apartment now, so it's kind of hard to make YouTube videos. But if you have interest in a degree that for sure pays well and has a lot of growth in the future, I recommend you at least pursue it. I think that whether you like it or not, as long as you don't completely hate it, I think that it will benefit you in the future. And I truly believe that because now I'm stuck, you know, working dead end jobs and I'm trying to change that. But if I had the chance to go back in time and make some better decisions for myself, then that would be a part of it. And I'm trying not to beat myself up too much too because I know that a lot of dudes that are younger um, and like myself when I was younger dealt with a lot of mental issues and I never got them treated. So, I mean, that's the first thing I can really recommend, actually. It's not pursuing a career that pays a shitload of money. It's just really make sure that you have your mental situation figured out. And I'm just now learning how to do that. Not even getting it figured out, but just learning how to process trauma and all that bullshit. Um, but yeah, I mean, this isn't really a video for tips because I don't think I'm really in a position to give you guys tips. But yeah, I just mostly just wanted to vent about what's going on in life. But yeah.